Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector. And it's Josh, the Aromatic Kid. And today we're gonna to be talking about two awesome fragrances. If you like Aventus, then wait till you see this one. And if you like Green Ash Tweed, I reckon you like this one a lot. So let me qualify. We're not saying that these are dupes or Aventus and Green Irish Tweed, but what we are saying is that Creed have an awesome lineup of fragrances, but sometimes, as you know, in the perfume community, we get caught up with Aventus or just Green Irish Tweed. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it, there's a great lineup as we've been speaking. And if you like Green Irish Tweed or Aventus, we think these may be great options for you guys. I like wearing Aventus as people come in contact with me to become intrigued by my fragrance. Well, I'm gonna talk about Original Santel as a very similar-esque fragrance that does that too. Green Irish Tweed is one that I really liked. Um, it's all about making the statements, about you know impressing others. So I think Original Vetiver is a very great comparison or option for you also. We're gonna start with Original Santel. I love it from the beginning. This fragrance is... Yeah. I mean, look, in truth, um, Santel, which is a sandalwood, Santel, or sandalwood as a, as a fragrance note is just, it's just one of the rock stars in the fragrance, uh, in the perfume world. I would define this as a spicy, aromatic sandalwood. Yeah, it's very, I can smell it spice. It's very spicy. On the opening note, you're getting ginger, juniper berry, bergamot, rosemary, coriander, and mandarin. Then in the heart, lavender, geranium, orange blossoms, and sandalwood. And then in the base, oak moss, musk, tonka bean, and cedarwood. I love wearing this fragrance as my day, my going out. Um, there is a, a very reassured confidence about this particular fragrance. That opening with the bergamot and those citrus notes, a little bit of that spice coming through with that ginger and the rosemary. Mm. So it has a very fresh, very aromatic opening, but, but it's really also in that dry down, it, it stays in that aromatic component to it. Now, for, if you could picture, you know, the kind of person that would be wearing this, for me, this is Cliff Booth. Now, so those who are familiar with the movie, Once Upon a Time, the character of Brad Pitt, you know, just that really self-assured, uh, just quiet confidence, doesn't have to be, you know, in your face to let you know that he's gonna, you know, uh, just kick your ass. Basically. He already knows it though. <laughs> yeah, right. He's got that. He's got that. Pretty much. He's got that quiet confidence. Yeah. And this fragrance for me is very similar. I love wearing this on a, a warm day, this is awesome as a, as a going out fragrance, this is awesome as, a, as an office fragrance. I find that for me, this fragrance goes for about four to five hours. Um, however, it has a sneaky comeback. So six to seven hours deep, I find that I'm getting the fragrance coming back again. So mm. six to seven hours, body temperature increases, and all of a sudden I'm picking up the original Santal on yeah. It does go down to a body though. So when it comes to its sillage, on that four to five hour, it is at a moderate, some people around me are picking up, but then after after that, you know, six to seven hours into it, uh, it is pretty much a body yeah, scent on me. Tell yeah. me about original vetiver. Now, interestingly, this is my original vetiver. Yes, this was given to me to try out. And I, I gave it to Josh for the week so that he can give it a, a test run. What so for it? me, the original vetiver is that awesome earthy, you know, pine smell, but it's got that bright feeling to it. Um, so similar to Green Irish Tweed, it's got that earth strong smell, but with this, it's a very bright, you know, lifts up your day. So I think this is a great perfume, you know, if you're trying to make a statement, you know, if you're trying to, even going out, I think going out in outdoors scenes with this. So you mentioned that it's, it's kind of piney, kind of forest. Yeah, it, it does, So for you, on the opening notes, where you, where, where's it going? Where's it taking you? So for the opening notes, you know, when I was talking about that bright smell, you know, smelling that citrus, you know, lemon smell. It's got a very strong lemon smell. Obviously, it's original vetiver. We have that vetiver smell in this. You know, like what gives out that kind of earthy smell. You know, you know what I like? Because I like that you defined it as lemon. For me, mm. I have a smell now. Can you get like a, like a, does it smell like lemongrass or? Yeah. Because I, I know what you're saying, yeah, it does. When I, when I first sprayed this, I, I actually thought it was a lemongrass that was coming through. Mm. But in fact, it has a nice, beautiful, clean, strong lemon. Very vibrant yeah. lemon. But there's ginger in there. Yes. And so it the, gives that little bit of spice. On the opening notes, you're getting a ginger with the lemon. And it creates this, this very aromatic, a sparkling sort of opening. Yeah. It stays 
for me, it stays within the fragrance pretty much all the way through. Mm -hmm. But then as, as Josh was saying, on the dry down, you're getting that vetiver really kicking in. On the opening notes, you're getting the ginger from China, you're getting some green notes, and then the lemon from Italy. In the heart, you're looking at vetiver, and it's from Haiti, fresh florals, coriander, and cypress. Finally, in the base, it's white musk, cedar wood, and dyak wood. I find for me, when I'm wearing this fragrance, and again, Josh had a week with it, so um, yeah, you, you gave it a, a, a test run over the week. I've been wearing this for a little while now, and I like it for I like it for its opening. Mm. I like that very fresh, very green, very vibrant opening that it has with the ginger and all those components. But I love the dry down because it does go a little bit, oh well, a lot of bit on the woods. The Haitian, that Haitian vetiver gives it a nice earthy, clean feel about it. Um, and then it does go into the woods. The, the, that sort of those sparkling notes of lemon and ginger come down a little, and you're getting nice woody. I remember when he first gave me this collection, or gave me this perfume, um, you know, I had the question, you know, it looks like Grenache Tweed, it kind of smells like it. It's like, you know, why would I have this, you know, of Grenache Tweed? Or, you know, if I, if I already have Grenache Tweed, why do I need this one? Off camera, we were talking about this. Yeah. And he, Josh mentioned that when he first got the fragrance and I gave it to him, because um, Josh owns Green Irish, yeah. and he's like, well, I've got green eyes, why would I need to buy original vetiver? Yeah, and I'm like, some people might have the same question. I, I and I thought, look, that, that was a good question to ask. And so, but why do you think? Do you, do you think? Well, we, yeah, we had this discussion. You know, this is a very bright smell. And so this is great for, I think, outdoors settings. You know, with green eyes tweet, I think it's more better for indoor settings when you're, you know, in, in tight areas with everyone. I think it, you know, lights up the room a lot. Josh is right. And look, I, so I, I also own green eyes tweed. I find that Green Irish for me is a very formal scent. It's mm. a very good confidence booster. It's awesome for meetings. That Green Irish has a much heavier base. So it has that, the, that ambergris and the sandalwood. Um, and so you, you're getting a bit of a musky undertone. I don't feel that you're getting that musk undertone with this. No, there's not, there's not. I you're, know what you're, you're saying. You're getting, it's pushing more towards the woods. Mm. So it has a very bright, very fresh woods. So for those who have Green Irish, I would say that there's no reason you can't have original vetiver. Original vetiver is a lot more sparkling, a lot more brighter, but the advantage that you have is that it has the same presence, the same commands, yes. the same sort of, what was the sillage on you? So when we're talking about sillage and longevity, it's very similar to Green Irish Tunia with, with the sillage. It's, it's a very you know, high moderate to, to high smell. You know, it's gonna impact the whole area. You know, everyone's gonna be a smell. As soon as you walk in a room, everyone's gonna be smelling it. Um, and, so and, and your longevity? And longevity, you know, for me it was two sprays and it'll last you six to seven hours, easy. I you was, know, I'm the same. Very long perfume. I'm the same. So I mirror what, what Josh is saying. So even now, if I compare the two, this one is strong, it's vibrant, it's sparkling. This one's calmed down a little. This one's more, it's subtle. There is, it's, it's not, it, it, you, I, I can still smell it, um, but. Yeah, you can tell the difference, 100%. So between the two, this one, Original Vetiver, really jumps at you. If you're interested in Original Centel, Original Vetiver, you can buy from Libertine Parfumery. They are supporting my channel. The code is NFC, and you will receive a gift with purchase valued at $120. So did you enjoy your, your week with my perfume? Yes. To be honest, I might add it to my collection. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys all on the next episode. Mm -hmm.